And we're back for our Armageddon Hell in a Cell match for the television championship. And by the way, look at all my bits from Legends of Frontierland. Yeah, these are now worth a lot of money on eBay. So let's see, can Kicked in the Nuts retain the championship? And by the slimmest of odds, who's it going to be? Will it be Cody Rhodes, the man that got credited with the loss? The Heat Slater's shocking Intercontinental title. And no, Ted DiBiase is in there as well, along with Jack Swagger, the former champion, Epico, who was in that great matchup on Raw, as it's uploading right now. Time of this recording, and here comes Kicked in the Nuts. Here we go! In the nut, kick to the nut. Let's see if he can win it here. And here comes the former Intercontinental Champion. Rhodes. And here comes one half of the Funky Patriots. And here comes Epico, a former tag team champion. Could be what it. Epico. Boy, would this be a big upset if Epico wins here? As Ted DiBiase gets ready to make his match here tonight. Here we go, here tonight, our first of two championship matches. And here comes Kip in the nuts, and he will. And there's no disqualification in this match. Swinging that breaker. Right off the 
It is the nut breaker. The nut breaker. Oh wait, no, no. And Jack Swagger has won. Cody Rhodes just screwed, kicked out of, kicked in the nuts in the town of the title, and the television title goes back to the Funky Patriots. And Jack Swagger is now a two-time television champion. Is now a two-time television champion. How about that? Now coming up next for the first time since vacating the NXT Championship, Clem Claude Hopper, the new world heavyweight champion, will take on the United States champion, Daniel Bryan. So here we go. Let's see if Clem can, can. Let's see what Clem looks like with that World Heavyweight Championship around his waist. Here we go, here comes the World Heavyweight Champion. And there it is. The World Heavyweight Champion, Clem Clodhopper. And Clem Clodhopper, boy, is he stoked for this match. Because for the first time ever, he's carrying that World Heavyweight Championship around his waist. And boy, this is probably going to be nerve-wracking knowing that the World Heavyweight Champion is, is not the final match. All right, a big car, Kyle card should be the main event. And yet last night on Raw, he was the main event, along with Heath Slater, which we have just found out that we're going to have a no disqualification match. And what the? Daniel Bryan, he's the former champion. Oh my god. Oh my god. Daniel Bryan. What a jerk. Although he's not a jerk in real life because he's probably the biggest baby face in, uh, oh, besides John Cena. And we don't want an 18 second match because that would be embarrassing for the World Heavyweight Champion. And here we go. And the world champion just got disqualified. So it looks like he got really mad about the sportsmanship ripoff. So honestly, I can't blame him for that. Now coming up next, it's a main event. And it is the second title match. And it is for the ECW championship as an Extreme Rules match. Yeah, because of that stipulation. 
why the world champion is the, not the main event. As you can see, the other member of that Intercontinental match, Randy Orton, is in this match trying to become the ECW champion for the very first time. But Dennis Hoffman has been trying to get make sure that he keeps that title around his waist, even though he had never defended it defend, in a regular basis. Here we go, here comes Dennis Hoffman. And Dennis the winner of the Sugar Bowl with the Rutgers Scarlet Knights wanted to get a shot at this championship to keep this championship hopes alive in this matchup but be careful look who his opponents are tonight And there's Eric Cartman, the 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 uh, star running back at Penn State University, and he will get ready for this matchup as he tries to get another piece, another bit of championship gold, and this will be the first world cha second world championship reign in his young career. And Randy Orton, who appears on, doesn't appear on NXT in real life, but well, actually in the real version, but not in the version of this game that just fixed it. And there we go. It's time for the ECW Championship to be defended. Kane, that's the WWE Champion. There's Kane, the WWE Champion. Are they insisting? Yep, it looks like we may have a triple threat on main event. And that, yep, that is official. It's going to be Kane versus Jericho versus Orton for the WWE Championship. Here we go. Oh, I guess we can't hurt Kane. And here we go. We already have a weapon already. And just for curiosity. And that is Hoffman. And this is why ECW... Uh oh, Cartman stopped him. And that hits Orton. That definitely hits. And now Orton got it. Oh, 
Oh look, a guitar. I know somebody that could really love the, using that as a weapon. For just nine ninety nine. Uh oh. DDT, and there goes the trash can. And Orton, Randy Orton, kicks out of that. And so far, not so good if you're De Dennis Hoffman. So far, this has been hit. Oh, wait a minute. And Dennis Hoffman retains the title. Cartman was a split second too late. What a good triple threat match. Unfortunately, no blood. Dennis Hoffman. Yeah, Dennis Hoffman is getting up there with the longest ECW reigns of that belt. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the card. As you can see, Nikki Bella and Jack Swagger. So, we're going to take a look at the... Whoops, I did not mean to leave. We're going to take a look at the card. For, so, this is going to be an all... Mostly a championship episode, so see you guys tomorrow for more WWE 2K14.